Mr. Allah, smiley face. Welcome to the video. Also, welcome to all of you. Today, my encoding is overloaded. <clears throat> also, it's a new Marvel Snap season. And I'm excited. Welcome to Thunderbirds, y'all. I messed around with Baron Zemo. I did not have a good like fit for it yet. Tried out a Hoagland deck that was really fun. But Red Hulk, it's pretty obvious where Red Hulk goes. Red Hulk goes where every other big frickin' card goes. High Evo. And, you know, Thanos and other things. But we are keeping true to what I said before. Our goal, I don't want to use. Hmm. Let's give it up. No more super flow. I don't want to use Eliath. All season. The goal is no Eliath. <clears throat> and that might seem dumb. Might seem like we're destined for failure. That that really just helps. <laughs> you suck. Okay. Alright. Uh, a, a few things about Red Hulk, though. One. If you have it, your opponent knows if it's in your hand because you get a little pop-up. I was really confused yesterday. I thought my own Red Hulk was buffing itself inside of my deck. No. If your opponent has it in hand, and I guess in play, you know because it gives a little, a little pop-up that says, Red Hulk here, I'm bigger. So there's no surprise at the end of the game as to how much power Red Hulk has, okay? Just keep that in mind. I think this is going to be a hard one to win. But this, like, style of deck, I feel super confident in my ability to play. Doesn't mean I'm going to win. I know <laughs> relatively well what they're playing. I mean, it's, it's bounce collector stuff, right? That's not too bad. Uh, and their Kitty Pride basically exactly keeps up with what we're doing. <clears throat> oh, they have Red Hulk. There you go. That's their Red Hulk that they stole from me getting buffed. So they could drop Red Hulk right, Kitty Pride mid. They should win. But we'll find out. Honestly, that Black Widow was pretty annoying. Stopped up my deck of skosh. And their Red Hulk is going to get stronger. If they can use all their power, they can outpower my Red Hulk. Odd. I mean, it works out either way, right? No real stress. Oh, well. <clears throat> the, hey, sometimes that's just how seasons start out. I have the, a thing that I do with decks when I start playing them and I just play every game until it's done and part of that is I want to see what other decks people are using so I don't have to guess oh this is the top end of <clears throat> whatever deck um, I also kind of like being able to have three hulks in one deck it feels pretty cool I guess four right does Scar count as a hulk I feel like he does I don't know what are y'all playing let me know. I'm gonna try and like be a little more consistent with video uploads this uh, this season. It's not easy. I have a variety of different things going on in life. 
Um, I assume this is a bot based on the picture and the name. I think it's possible. But beyond that info, I don't really have a good way to gauge whether it's a bot or not. Is it X Mansion Day? That's so exciting. Goodness. If y'all found a, a good Baron Zemo deck, let me know. The the Hoagland deck that I thought was interesting used uh, Zemo and Red Hulk. I just I thought it was kind of unique. It's got to be a bot, right? Okay. So basically, what we want to do is nothing. Well, I don't know about that. Play She-Hulk this turn, Scar next turn, that... a few things go off. Um, I like that line a little more. So our Scar is cheaper. We want them to get a lead. <clears throat> These variants are pretty cool, though. If it is a bot, uh, they will retreat very quickly. Could do some cheeky nonsense like that. All right, so our Hulk gets buffed, and then we just drop this Hulk right, and they retreat. Yep. Junk. Should have snapped. I'm getting better at the bot identification stuff, but... I don't know. I, I always... I feel bad if I'm wrong. I mean, if I'm right, it doesn't matter, because computers don't have feelings <laughs> yet. But if it's a person, and I'm like, this dude's playing like a bot. I don't feel like that's a compliment, you know? If there's a card in here that I don't feel needs to be here, it's freaking Shocker. Because Shocker never hits good stuff. Triskelion. <sighs> well, we got Thanos, and we got Morph. Dude, let's just Morph and see what happens. Oh, Nebula. From, okay, it's from Triskelion, which is good. So we don't know what they're playing at all. How about this? I don't know what you turn into that makes me happy, but we can play Magic next turn. Oh, we got a She-Hulk. Oh, please hit something really good. Yeah, buddy! Our scar is super cheap. I mean, we could just do uh, this power everywhere, and I, I, I uh, give me one turn to just do this play, and then let me get Kyra out. Why would I play over there? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat, man. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just need a day off. Okay. So it's just, it's straight up nonsense. Uh, do they have Enchantress? My guess is they play it now. There's a lot of cards to hit, though. Um... do this. I just want to limit what they can actually do. If they have Legion, I guess they could mess some stuff up, right? Ah. Definitely not what we wanted. Intriguing. Intriguing. 
So let's say that, well, we, we go second no matter what. Hazmat, annoying. Wong Hazmat, annoying. Hazmat Odin, annoying. Like, there's a lot of annoying things that they could do, but they can't do it because probably Triskelion. And they, they hurt themselves by pulling out my Red Hulk. So in a way, this is a good counter to the Sarah Control stuff. I'm good with that. Deck's annoying <laughs> to play against. It's it's great. It's really good. It's very annoying to play against. Them. Hopefully the video is okay. I apologize if it's a little jerky. Do both hulks immediately. Oh. Akimbo. Give me a two. No. We need magic. Please and thanks. All of our big cards are coming out. Oh boy. Safety play. Safety play, buffs, Hulk, Sunspot, Misty Knight. All that's good stuff. So they don't really care how things go. Oh gosh. I do. <clears throat> With, oh, and they can play in Washington, D.C. and kick the crap out of us. All right, best we could do is Red Hulk. And we want to use up all of our energy anytime we can. What are you doing? No! Interesting. <gasps> There's magic. <clears throat> if they just overload mid, they win. My hope. Oh, man. My hope is they go for left, I guess. My gosh, that was beautiful. Like I don't I don't have more than I can ask for out of a out of a out of a game. That was really good. Oh man. So later this week, uh or I guess later today, um we have to teach something called SAC week SAC week classes, which um I believe is like student something choice, student academic choice or something like that. Name could use some workshopping, perhaps. Ooh. No. Um. And I I didn't really wow. I didn't really know what to do. So not that I'm amazing or the best at anything, but I thought it would be really fun to do a class about like making videos and if you want to get started on YouTube and Twitch and stuff, like this is this is how you do it. Um so we're going to do that, and it's going to be fun, I hope. That's, you know, the main goal. Uh, fun and... 
useful, I guess. Alright, so Quake. Where do they play Quake? I feel like immediately they want to mess with the right lane, so we'll throw... Right, whatever. Um, but I'm, I'm interested to see, like, how things go. <clears throat> like, what do, what do students think about, slash, want to know about making videos? Uh, they can't lay... What's his face yet? can now, and uh, they know that I have Red Hulk, and Red Hulk is just going to go in the right lane, and then we have a Scar. Ooh, yeah. But I guess, too, like, if you guys have questions, again, I'm not saying I'm the best at any of this stuff. I just, I think it's fun. And I know that students are intrigued by, like, how do how do you do this? Like, how do you start? Um, Victory. What what goes into it? What parts are difficult? What I don't know. I just I, I'm I'm curious, like, what people are intrigued by with all of this stuff. Because I know for me, I I grew up, of course, watching PewDiePie because I was the right generation for that. Oh, dude, it's a good draw again! And after PewDiePie, I did that group, like, Markiplier, and... I think it was mainly PewDiePie and Markiplier for a really long time. And then... It was Northern Lion. Like, all the- all the dudes. Like, I just- I friggin' loved it. Um... Morag could be annoying. It all depends on what they're playing. <clears throat> How about this? I know, big play, big play. Mr. Negative. It's gotta be Mr. Negative. Ah, intriguing. I really, I gotta get something into Morag, man. <clears throat> Like, do I really want to put Red Hulk in the right lane? Dude, if you get negative, Wolf Speed. So it is a negative deck. <clears throat> All right, we want to play this slow because I, I have a really good feeling that this is a bot. I know we're playing a little sloppy but just something in Morag feels important. We want them to somehow take Ryo. So we would love for them to play into Morag. Let's put Red Hulk left. Because... Ugh. All right. Like I said, I'm getting better at identifying bots. Retreat. Yeah. Dang it, man. I got it. I... Uh. Okay. Just chill, all right? We're going bot hunting. I'm gonna call it from the start if I think it's a bot. Not a bot. Ego Nazgul does not sound like a bot, but he has a Hulk. So that's pretty good for him. Thor, never gonna get play. He might have three Hulks like we do. Yes, he probably does. Something to lay, please. 
Nay. That's such a bummer. Misty Knight can't do anything. He does not have Red Hulk in hand, though. Ooh. I love that. Utopia is a pretty obnoxious card. Or a location. Like, it's, it's pretty good. It's quite handy. I know that we deprived our Hulk of a little bit of soak. And we lost a bit of knowledge as well on whether they drew their Red Hulk or not. I could guarantee we have a, a soak turn incoming. It's right now. Here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, so I did see uh, a deck similar to this already. And they are definitely in the lead. I mean, obviously they're in the lead, but I think that they're going to be okay. Do they have Red Hulk? No Red Hulk yet. <clears throat> Here. Again, it gives us intel. Luke Cage. Maybe this is a pretty traditional Evo deck? Or, yeah. I don't know. Do they have a Red Hulk yet? No. All right, maybe they don't have Red Hulk. That is also a possibility. <clears throat> so we commit Red Hulk to mid. She Hulk. All right, uh, they can drop a big Hulk. Okay. Victory. Or they could drop a Scar. Plus like a bunch of little things. Probably Scar plus a bunch of little things would have been a good call. I don't know, man. I just, I love the flow of this deck. I know some people said it's boring, but people say the same thing about Sandman. And I think what makes it not boring for me is that I actually know how to play it pretty well. There's no leech. No Eliath, no no gimmicky garbage. There's just four hulks and uh, fun. And I, I can get behind that. Like to the point where I believe that I have, yeah, I have a card back on that is just, this is what I'm playing. Now, if this is destroy stuff, well, I don't, I don't love it. <gasps> it is destroy. Okay, Kyra, please. I also real I love, I freaking love the idea. Okay. I love the idea of uh, vipering Kyra across to destroy decks, like on a on an integral turn. I I just love the concept of that. You suck. You don't. But you do annoy me a lot. I think that's disrespectful. So they have She-Hulk, Scar. I have two deaths. If they snap, we run so fast. They have five cards, two of which are my cards. Said, we have two deaths, though. They know that we have two deaths. I'll I'll let you snap. They have two. Oh, they got the death from us. I didn't even think about that.
Okay, so they probably got a She-Hulk. And now they're just gonna soak. <clears throat> She-Hulk Null would be some of the luckiest garbage I've ever seen in my life. But it's so possible. I'm in it. Null left. Scar mid. No! No. That sucks. Susie Oo Woo. It's fine. I'm not going to be mad about it. I should have run away. I did not think about the the Kyra nonsense not helping me. All right, we have a Red Hulk. Ooh. Man, I don't know that this many Hulks is a, a good start, you know? Maybe Shocker is important. Why? Is it just destroy? And you got excited about this. Really? They might have storm, so we have to... Pay attention to that. All right, we go wave. Dude, Wong Mystique. Really? We're at this, this stage of the game already. Red Hulk. I'm a little nervous, but we're already this far into it. <clears throat> oh, it's just hazmat? Dude, come on. Play something uh, different, please. This combo drives me crazy. Oh my gosh. Getting Nebula out is a freaking liability. And then it's just Odin on all of that stuff. <sighs> so that's gonna be minus two power for every card that's currently out. And then plus two power multiple times. There's no way. There's no way. Dude, the luck involved to actually get this freaking garbage to go off is nuts. And I could never do it. But I really like the idea. I just hate playing against it. It's the same thing as Thanos and those Gambit Exodia decks. Like, when you get it to work, it's so impressive and cool. And negative. I can never get Mr. Negative to work. I never see Mr. Negative in time to play him. All right. I'm already thinking this is a bot. And with that thinking, We're just going for it. I could be wrong. It could be a misread. 
but I, I do have a good feeling. Wave, and then we're just gonna chuck Hulk left as well. Into the kiln. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, so we have the snap out. They're winning two locations, which is exactly what we want for them. Trying to keep them in the lead. Okay. What's more power? We win left no matter what. If we soak this turn... We could play She-Hulk and Red Hulk final turn. And Red Hulk could become stronger. Pretty sure we're about to farm a good amount of cubes here. Snap on me, Ezekiel. Booyah. I don't think bots know how to play um, how to play discard very well. It's a bot, and that's fine. Whatever. Hey, I put yo. I modeled how to play against a bot so well there. I feel like Twitch chat would be so proud of me right now. He's learning. He's catching on. He knows how to do some things now. Fooling him. It's perfect. I also got to keep in mind that Kyra lets me play cards into like Death's Domain, which is irrelevant at this exact moment. But it is, it's just important for me uh, to remember. <clears throat> All right. It's Thanos. in image and in, in deck. They're not playing a lot, though. All right. <clears throat> could be a genius move. They could also just draw into uh, Reality Stone this turn. But I'm just going to drop Cosmo right. And hope that they're not a weird deck that has Legion or something like that. I don't care about using Shocker on high Evo. Okay.
So as far as surprise factor goes, soaking now gives us a lot of power mid. <clears throat> and then we have a Hulk and She-Hulk to drop final turn. Because the, So they have vision. We'll just do it. Vision can be really obnoxious. Especially if they know where I want to drop stuff. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Mobius. I misplayed the crap out of that. I gotta hope that retreating doesn't hurt too badly. I yai. Their draws were awful too, but didn't seem to matter too much. Oh well. Let's uh let's try one more. Keep in mind, everyone, Thanos runs every frustrating card. Okay? Every card that could mess you over, it's in Thanos somewhere. Gordo. From Lizzie McGuire? Doesn't appear to be Thanos at this exact moment. Go left. Also not a bot as far as I can tell. Alright, they know I have Red Hulk. <clears throat> oh no. Okay. It's probably just destroy. So Kyra is going to be important if we want to keep Sunspot alive. don't want two magics. Cool. I guess the good thing about... Eh, you know, let's do this. Good thing about uh, destroy is they don't run Mobius. It's about it, though. You know. What a game. And I mean, if you want to climb quickly and win all of the games you ever uh, you, you ever uh, you ever uh, play, uh, it's a great one to play because uh, yeah, it's it's uh, really obnoxious. Lee Good. Sorry, I needed to finish that sentence. They're just gonna go Venom mid. I just gotta start getting crap out there. I know that they're gonna hit my Sunspot with a Killmonger at some point. They've only got so many cards in the freaking deck. They'll have one left over by the end, and that's it. Probably gonna retreat on this one. Because they'll have Null, they'll have Death, they'll have all the stuff. They'll have their Zola if that's what they're playing. You know, it doesn't doesn't matter. Ooh, all right. Well, Killmonger incoming this turn for sure. So with that knowledge, we just gotta go here. Such a telegraph deck, man. But there's there's no way of stopping it that I have in this deck. Like at all. How many have they destroyed? It doesn't even show me. Deadpool. They've destroyed it twice. Plus those two, plus Wolverine. Wolverine. X23. So they could probably just drop all of their crap and win. And we don't have, uh, what's his face, Scar. It's not, it's not a good choice to play that one out. 
I don't want to end on a destroy deck. I want to end on something that... I don't know. I guess that's a good matchup, but... I <laughs> complained about this on Twitter forever ago. But every time I play a destroy deck, I don't, I don't get destroy cards. But every time I play against a destroy deck, they get everything they've ever dreamed of. Which is one of the reasons why I feel like I have the worst luck ever. One of. There's a variety of other ones, but... I mean, the one card I needed to save me last game was Kyera, and that's what got destroyed, so... Crap happens. Kyera. How long do you think it's going to take for Hope Summers to like not be in every deck ever? Ooh, it's High Evo. All right, all right. Uh Oh, no Red Hulk for them. At least not yet. We don't have Sunspot. So the Soak doesn't make that much sense, other than that it buffs our Hulk. But if they just drew into Red Hulk, I don't want to give them a leg up either. So let's do this. Oh, their Hulk is teeny weeny. That's okay. I think I'm just gonna do, uh, just gonna do this. They know how much power can be output. And that doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me too much. It's an interesting, like, dance, though. So if they drop a Red Hulk in the right lane, they can drop Red Hulk and Hulk Hulk mid though. I think we do this. Oh, it's this. Because if, if they drop their She-Hulk and Red Hulk mid, they win everything. Wow, they're playing so many cards. That's good enough for me, man. I feel like that's a good where, uh, a good where. Man, my brain. That's a good place to end it. Um, if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make good choices. Remember, you're going to have a great day whether you know it or not. And as always, peace. Enjoy the new season. This is a great deck to start with. Where'd we end up? 76. Didn't climb much, but we, uh, we made some risky plays. Don't make uh, risky plays, just make smart plays, and that's it. That's all I got. See ya later.